Aloha Capricorn, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your uh, mid-July 2022 through mid-August 2022 uh, soulmate love reading. Uh, we're going to look at the energies around love, around kind of the soulmate cycle, uh, what's coming in for you at this time, Capricorn, and any advice from spirit. Um, before we get started, I want to say thank you. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for hitting that bell button. All those things help my channel to grow and expand. Thank you for those who have donated and tipped. And thank you for those who comment. So grateful for all of you. Um, I also have options available for those who would like a private reading with me. Um, that information is in the description box below. I have a link to my Etsy shop. I've um, I have three options available, or I also am available on Keen. If you happen to be a member of Keen, um, you can always find me there too if you just want a quicker question answered. Um, what else? Oh, um, there have been scammers about. So just so you know, I have deleted all of my um, social media accounts. So I am no longer on Instagram, TikTok, or Facebook. Um, so just so you know, if anyone is asking you to do a reading or asking you for money please know that it's a scam and uh, save your beautiful money i've given you the ways in which you can contact me um, on here okay so you can reach out to me and i would gladly do a reading with you um let's see and i also have um a contest every month a drawing really for a 30 minute session with me personally if you're interested in that i'll let you know at the end of the video how to enter the drawing as some are here just for the messages okay let's get going uh on your message so whew, okay there's a lot of energy capricorn so i feel like your energy is building after a time of not having much and so it's like i feel like i want to take a really deep breath and exhale it's like that waiting to exhale a uh, movie is coming to mind right so it's like uh just um coming out of a time of feeling like you're holding your breath in a situation um we do have big energies coming in here um this is being filmed when cancer is in uh, or excuse me venus and mercury are in cancer uh, so there is a want from our soulmates outside of us to communicate with us uh, but there's a wobble in it, okay? Uh, because cancer likes to um, have its its um, armor on, you know, but there's such a love and homebody kind of way of nourishing uh, part of that. So those energies are present. We also have the uh, Lionsgate Portal 8-8 that's coming up. I'll do specific readings on the Lionsgate uh, here um, next month. And... Um, but that is when every, uh, every year our sun uh, meets up with our spiritual sun, the star of Sirius, which shines thousands of times brighter than our sun. So we call it our spiritual sun. It opens up a gateway for us to move through um, uh, spiritually and otherwise. And so um, there's often purging right before uh, of lower denser energies and we are have the ability to uh, easily step onto a new timeline our higher dimensional timeline our higher purpose our dream uh, world can be um, manifested quite easily at this time as the energies are conducive to it okay so those are the big energies that are going to be um, available and playing out during this particular time frame so this will last for about 30 days uh, could be a little bit more all right so for capricorn we're going to look at a keepers of the light card and find out um, who is overlooking your journey here capricorn um, for this particular month uh, let's see we have the holy spirit it says expect miracles remember that only love is real Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. Capricorn, that is beautiful. Okay, so the actual spirit of who we are, of um, our inner being and source, is going to be guiding your journey for this month and to expect miracles. I feel like in a situation um, with your soulmate cycle, you have been putting your whole heart and soul into a person 
or have been feeling a previous person is the energy that I'm getting. And it just feels like in some way you've lost hope. It's it's like with Capricorn, I'm a Capricorn too, so I, I completely understand this energy. I'm also a Capricorn Venus. Um, it, we're so good at working on things. And, and um, there's this sense of, working so hard but but losing some hope in a situation for some reason okay so maybe things didn't work out the way that you thought that they were going to or maybe you were told no and you feel like it means no forever or that there's been a rejection of some sort um or you feel rejected but maybe the other person wasn't intending to reject you um but there is uh, as it pertains to love and your soulmate cycle this is guided by spirit and so there are miracles going to occur and let's look at what uh, and it says they occur naturally right so you're going to be going about your business being your awesome self capricorn uh, we did just have the capricorn full moon as well so those energies are still lingering um so there's you know a lot of energy around capricorn at this time to start to uh, receive these um, positive, what we would call miracles, okay? And this spirit has your back. I feel like in some ways, you know, you've made such huge accomplishments in other areas of your world, but yeah, when we have Tower and Seven of Cups, okay? So it's like there's been some sort of Tower moment that has occurred. It has you or your person considering um, how you're going to give your heart if you're going to give your heart to them you know are you safe to and um there's been such a focus it feels like for you on your spirit as well as on your work that your love arena has maybe had some challenges through time and it's like um yeah you've been anxious about it and we have that seven of cups again all right so you've been um anxious about this relationship but it feels like relationships in general capricorn because it's like it's um not controlled uh, in the way that that you would do business or uh, other ways in which you are so successful but it's saying spirit has your back it's saying that this relationship that you're thinking of is ordained by spirit it, that you are being watched out for okay Let's look a little further and pull the tarot and go from there. All right. Wow. Wow. Okay, so lots of new beginnings coming here, okay? Capricorn. So this is really beautiful. This one I said. Wow. <laughs> I said one more and the sun drops on the on the table. All right, beautiful. We have Ace of Wands and Strength. So in this situation with the person, your soulmate that you have that you know, I feel like you know that your person's your person, but I, I don't feel like they had fully understood or known yet, okay? They're coming for you. There's energy incoming. They are trying to build up their, their strength. At this time, they're very scared to come in and tell you uh, how they feel to start this new beginning. Uh, it may be the first time that you're physically intimate with each other, or it may be a passionate new beginning um where they had left before and um so you'd been together intimately but there needs to be a full-on new beginning so for whatever reason that you felt like your hope was lost in this situation your person's wanting to come on in and give you a new beginning okay they're passionate about you the spark has happened something has happened since your last conversation whether that be years ago or whether it be two days ago um when you 
felt like your hope was lost in this situation, they've had a realization and an aha. And they want to come towards you. Their heart has been opened in some way. The strength card's ruled by Leo, who rules the heart, our physical heart. And they're, they're wanting to come in and give you an offer for a passionate new beginning. And not just an offer, they want to give you a long-term offer. They want to work it out with you. They're trying to figure out how to come forward to you, to work together so that you they, they offer you something of value. Okay, your person sees you as a treasure. They see the hard work that you do. They see the effort and the expertise that you put into everything that you do in your life. And they're like wanting to give you um, wanting to give you a solid offer that will grow. Now, I will say I'm not seeing like cups here yet. Okay. Um, but it's because they're just trying to figure out how to communicate with you. Like, I feel like the cups are already there because our overall energy, the result is <laughs> judgment. Okay. Um, and then we have tower. And so it's like, uh, they're unexpectedly going to come in and they're going to ask for like a second chance. They've had a spiritual epiphany. They're going, I forget who else. One of the water signs I think had judgment as well. Now there is uh, some defense on their end, or you may be defensive when they come in because they may have told you no already, or they walked away from you. So there's a little bit of defense and it feels like it's coming from both ends. I feel like they're trying to defend their heart a little bit because this scares them. This is something, uh, you're very healing presence to them. So they understand that they recognize it, Capricorn, but they're just... Um, they're a little defensive and they're scared you're going to be defensive because the last thing that they said to you um, of what they wanted uh, made you lose hope in some way to the relationship, okay, to the possibility of it. To So you've started to think of, okay, I have to go in a different direction because this person... Like, I'm not going to try to make someone want me who doesn't want me, you know, um, or I'm not going to try to make something work if I'm the only one putting in the effort. There has to be reciprocity. And that being said, what's about to get uncovered here is they're going to come forward and speak a, a lot of their secrets. OK, there's been things uh, behind the scenes. I feel like part of it for your person, they've got you on a pedestal. They see you as their future. The Ten of Pentacles, that's why I said there's not really cups, but there is. The Ten of Pentacles is my favorite card in the deck. These are the two best cards in the deck, the Sun and Ten of Pentacles. So Ten of Pentacles says um, that all of your love needs are taken care of, because notice all the family all around, but also all of your resources are taken care of financially, health-wise, and otherwise. This is bounty. Ten of Pentacles is called the blessed card in uh, the destiny cards. Um, blessed financially, blessed happy home. Your values are in place. So they see you as high value. And they haven't told you all of the ways in which they feel like you're high value. They haven't told you that they have needed to they may have needed to up their finances they may have needed to get healthy they may have needed to up their values um, it feels like they didn't feel valuable enough to be with you um, and they're going to reveal a lot of that to you so there's been some things in secret i don't feel like they've expressed fully their emotions i feel like they've expressed in part some of the things that they appreciate about you through time but the last couple of conversations or the energies have just been really tense. There was a reason why you gave up hope and they are in the background. Like even if you're not communicating with them, they're in the background constantly thinking about you, constantly wanting to be uh, with you. The outcome they want with you is the sun. Uh, what they want you to know that maybe you don't know is that you make them so happy that you are um, their wish fulfilled, that they want things to be uh, working between the two of you, okay? Let's just look at, um, you know, what about your person, like, 
brings on the miracle. Yeah, they had to get their themselves right. Okay, so many of them may have had some financial issues when you first met them, um, and they felt like they were under you financially in some way or that their values have needed to be upped but this is saying they're showing up with real value they're showing up in their power they're showing up with an offer that is long term and will last um, last the long term the king of pentacles is the marriage card they show up with an offer to be a husband or a wife um, and that is is what they're wanting but i feel like that's different than what they told you. So that's why you gave up hope because I feel like they told you they didn't want a relationship. They didn't want to be in, um, be that way. And so you, you just, yeah, they've been indecisive about it and needing to make a choice. And they've been uh, immature in their choice. Now, for some of you, this is children that have been in the mix, um, that they've needed to tend to but for most of you this is your person uh trying to communicate with you both of these are communication cards that you make them feel young again that you make them feel vibrant but the the, the last time they talked to you they came to you with swords rather than cups you know they came to you with um i feel like the your person's been using everything but their heart <laughs> to make their decisions here right it's like um and they have been coming through in their communication as uh, quite immature and so you've taken them on their word of what they said they didn't want but their energy is saying something different that they would like to um, be this with you right and that's the miracle that's occurring is that they're getting themselves together so that they have the strength to come forward and ask you um, for a next level commitment yeah and the energy is coming towards you hot coming in hot you don't see it coming that's why it says expect miracles like i feel like with this group capricorn you've taken them at face value you're respecting and honoring their boundaries and decisions um and trying to figure out how for you to move on and they're like no i've got to come towards capricorn because i'm gonna i'm gonna lose them and so they're, they're coming in. This is victory and communication. It's fast. This is the card of cancer, and we're in that cancer communication period. Yeah, there it is. I'm like, where's the cups? <laughs> and they're coming in full on love. They see you like this, but they're coming in in this energy. This is a cancer Scorpio Pisces, Scorpio energy here. And so um, this is the most love in the deck. So though they've been prancing around kind of immaturely, not being able to say how they really feel, um, they want to come in and give you this love. And I feel like you've kind of taken a step back because of what they asked for. Um, Spirit just said, look at the bottom of the deck. We have four of wands. That's halfway to marriage card. They're coming in to commit to you. Okay. You don't see it coming. Yeah. We have six of cups, bottom of the deck, soulmate, two of cups relationship yep so uh some of them may have ended like a third party situation or they may not have been available because they were still occupied with someone else um but in general it's gonna seem miraculous because I, like what i'm hearing is that their their younger part of themselves said that they didn't want like they didn't tell the whole truth they they came to you through hurt with swords you know sword up in their like immature communication and they told you one thing uh and you took them at face value and you're making your decisions based upon what they said that they wanted and then now uh, the miracle is that they actually do love you the the queen of cups is overflowing love it's the most love in the deck that's how they feel about you that's how they see you uh they just didn't feel worthy before but but this particular month these energies are going to give them what they need to um to give you the miracle that you've been asking for let's get one last um card here to close out this is beautiful capricorn i'm very very happy for you for us <laughs> 
That's been some tough energies, huh? Okay, maybe two. So we got the card of never ending story. I'll show it to you in just a moment. I'm just gonna asking for a clarifier on it. Um, the never ending story is like that cycle inside our head. He loves me, he loves me not, she loves me, she loves me not. And it's just like over and over that looping anxiety. And I feel like you've been in that. And what they're saying is you're ending that never ending story loop. It's, it's like, you're gonna just make the choice for you. Okay. Um, you're letting go of this never-ending story and it says go the distance you can go to the distance expect miracles and and as it pertains to this relationship you're coming out of uh, I love this because you're feeling oh wow they just gave me the energy here so you're feeling rejected and you have your back turned and then out of nowhere here comes your person they're gonna they're pouncing they're gonna go the distance and you're not expecting it at all like you see how her back's completely turned <clears throat> all eyes on you um it's going to surprise and delight you because they will go the distance and you felt you've given up because they you know uh, told you something that ha had you losing hope look this fairy is like has lost hope but they're coming in hot okay that's chariot energy that's go the distance energy they're coming in hot okay 47 and 37 may mean something to you those are the numbers of those cards um but expect miracles i'm very very excited for you capricorn this is beautiful energy you're just going to be doing you and um they're going to seize the opportunity i don't you don't see it coming <laughs> so that's really beautiful but love you guys i'm going to end that there Thank you so much. For those of you who would like to enter the uh, drawing, here's how you do it. Remember, it's free to enter, free to win. Um, so you be a subscriber if you're not already. So subscribe and hit that bell button. Like and share this video. And then in the comment section below, write, um, I, I am expecting miracles. I am expecting miracles. And that lets me know that you would like to enter the drawing. I'll do that on the first of the month and announce the winner. And hopefully it is you. So until next time, aloha.